But Stephen, as I understand it, parents will be in the dark for a little bit longer. Schools get those results within a month, but parents have to wait until, I think it's term three. Why the gap in the, the timeline there? Shouldn't parents be looped in when the schools are? Yeah, so what we uh, provide to the schools is the the results of the assessments themselves. What parents want to know is also how their child's performed uh, alongside the rest of the country, and that takes a bit longer. So there's, as I say, 1.3 million students uh, sitting these assessments, and it takes time for us to then do all of the marking and the data crunching to enable us to work out, well, what is that average Australian student scoring in these assessments? Um, work out those proficiency levels for each individual student and then be able to report that back to parents. So the parents get more information than, than the schools do in that initial stage. But importantly, we give those, uh, those key information back to schools within four weeks so they can start acting on that as soon as possible. Um, and of course, as all um, schools do, you know, they'll keep their parents informed if there's anything alarming uh, or the good news um, about each of the students in there as well. And, we, you know, this fits in with the cycle of, um, of reporting for parents. You know, parents like myself are you know, gearing up at that point to be receiving um, information from the school about their end of semester one reports. Uh, and this is another form of information that will just help us to connect with those parents too about how their child's performing in these key literacy and numeracy skills. NAPLINE is always controversial. Some parents, some teachers just hate the whole concept of this sort of mass testing. In fact, in Queensland, we've seen the teachers' union there calling for a boycott this week. They're arguing students are getting too stressed out by these tests. They're saying that these tests are high stakes but low value. How do you respond to that? And, and considering the calls for a boycott and the fact that it is a voluntary test, what sort of participation rate are you expecting to see this year? Have we seen a big change in participation rates over the years or is it always pretty steady? Uh, there's a couple of parts to that. You know, first of all, this is a national assessment, so we want every student possible to undertake these assessments because they're all as important as each other and they're the future of our country. So we want to know, you know, how our students are, are faring, how their literacy and numeracy skills are going. It informs um, schools of how, how they're going with these type of um, skills for their own uh, students. Um, it's really important for our states and territories and the, and the country as a whole to know how we're, how we're tracking on these you know, really foundational skills of literacy and numeracy. So we want everyone to attend and to just to do their best. That's all we ask. Uh, in terms of the participation rates, of course, uh, during the last couple of years, uh, we saw a bit of a decline in that. Um, there were higher absences uh, than usual during the school terms. Um, due to illness and, you know, COVID-related uh, illness, of course. Um, we saw a bounce back uh, in last year in terms of attendance and participation in that plan. Uh, we're expecting a similar uh, turnout uh, to what we've had in previous years. Uh, it runs up around that sort of 90% of students undertaking the test, depending on which test and, and what days. Uh, one of the real advantages of uh, online assessments, of course, is that they they can be caught up. You can catch up on those assessments if the child is not there on a particular day. Uh, and that's something that wasn't um, wasn't possible, of course, with paper-based assessments. So there's some real advantages to the way in which we're conducting those assessments now. Stephen Neal, best of luck with it. I hope it all goes smoothly for all those students sitting down to, to do those tests this week. Thanks for your time. Great. Thanks for your time.